Hello, this is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Today we're going to look at brain health and the inverse relationship between weight and brain blood flow and activity. I first became interested in brain health, unfortunately, when my beloved father, Harry S. Dent, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, known as AD. One in 10 Americans are diagnosed with AD at age 65 and older, and one in three age 85 and older. And here's more concerning. According to the Alzheimer's Association, by 2050, half of those over 65 will have this dreaded disease. Recent research in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease reveals that as a person's weight goes up beyond normal, all regions of the brain go down in activity and blood flow. Considering that obesity is also the number one risk factor for all cancers, this is a wake-up call for all of us because this excess weight impacts our heart, and the health of our brain. In this very large study to date, looking at the body weight in relation to brain blood flow and activity, scientists analyzed over 35,000 neuroimaging scans using single photon emission computerized tomography, known as SPECT, from more than 17,000 individuals. That's a huge and a reliable study. Low cerebral blood flow is the number one brain imaging predictor that a person will develop AD, but is also associated with all neurodegenerative and mental health diseases, such as ADHD, bipolar disorder, depression, and Parkinson's. This study shows that being overweight or obese seriously impacts brain activity and increases the risk for AD disease as well as many other psychiatric and cognitive conditions, according to the author of the study, Dr. Daniel Amen. He also said, um, let me say this, he is the founder of the Amen Clinic, one of the leading brain-centered mental health clinics in the United States. And I have to tell you, he's one of my favorite psychiatrists to follow. Unfortunately, 72% of Americans, according to Dr. Amen, are overweight with 42% falling in the obese category. For the future of our country and our brain health, this must change. If we look at the top 10 countries who are most affected by AD, they go in correct order from highest to lowest, Finland, our own country, the United States, Canada, Iceland, Sweden, Switzerland, Norway, Denmark, the Netherlands, and Belgium. But amidst the bad news, there is good news. According to the author of the study, Dr. Amen, one of the most important lessons they learned through 30 years of performing brain imaging scans and studies is that brains can be improved when you put them in a healing environment. How do you do this? By adopting brain healthy habits and lifestyle. And those brain healthy habits can be found in my book, Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Yes, the same eight steps that prevent cancer and get you through the journey also prevent AD. Think about it. Hydration is key to your brain and to every cell in our body. Exercise and maintaining the proper weight for your body are also necessary for increasing blood flow to the brain, just to name a few. When weight goes up, brain activity and blood flow both go 
down. No thanks. Dr. Amon's research motivated him to lose weight and maintain a healthy weight, and it's done the same thing for me because of what we went through with my father. Yes, what my family went through, this terrible decline with AD disease drove me to begin my research into health and wellness. It was my cancer journey that caused me to dig even deeper. We now know that our brains never lose their capacity to heal and regenerate. Neuroplasticity is the ability of the brain to form new connections and pathways and change how its circuits are wired. Neurogenesis is the even more amazing ability of the brain to grow new neurons, but we must have a healthy lifestyle and proper blood flow for this to happen. After learning all this, losing that extra 10 to 15 pounds never looked so good. I've already lost 10 pounds after hearing the words, oh, sorry, but you have cancer. But I realized that there was no need for me to be up 30 to 40 pounds from my weight in my 20s. Those extra pounds are not helping my body and they can also contribute to higher risk for type 2 diabetes, absolutely, high blood pressure, higher risk for cancer, tell me about it, and now decreased brain flow and activity and function. This inverse must be reversed. Like the scarecrow, we all have a brain. What we really need to ask is, mm, do I have good blood flow? Am I practicing good, healthy habits for my brain? How many of you have been touched by dementia or AD? How many of you would like to get back to your weight in your 20s? Amen to that. I am certainly working on it, and now for so many reasons, including my brain health. I hope this information has been helpful for you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share it with those who are concerned, and click the notification bell under the three dots so that you'll know when I post new and important information. Until then, Here's not only to your health, but the blood flow and activity of your brain. God bless you as you continue to serve God and be a faithful witness in this world.